good evening good evening fellow citizens of southern cameroon or west cameroon or ambazonia i came to you this evening as one of the son of the soil i come to you with clear mind and i come to you as one of your brothers, I come to you as one of your voice. I come to you this evening to remind all of us that we have been succumbed to enslavement by the neighboring country, La Republic du Cameroon, within the past 56 years. And it has come to a point we have asked ourselves is that what we want for our people is that what we want for ourselves we have all concluded that within the past 56 years has become a nightmare enslavement and the act of decimate some of our brothers and most of our powerful men in our society, the people of Southern Cameroon. So I am here to remind all of those in Donga Mountain Division. I am here to remind those in Bui. I am here to remind those in Boyo. I am here to remind those in Meza. I am here to remind those in Gokutunja. I am here to remind those in Manu. I am here to remind those in Lebialem. I am here to remind those in Kupe Manenguba. I am here to remind those in Indian. I am here to remind those in Fako. I am here to remind those in Meme. That we have come to a point that we need to break the chain of enslavement that we have had for the past 56 years. One of our, our various reasoning faculty members of the Southern Cameroon that many times were ignored. In his book entitled Prisoner Without a Crime, that was written by the Honorable Waba Mogum. He's of late. He spent six years in the neighboring country, La Republic Prison. He was imprisoned by Amadou Ahijo, the, the former late dictator of La Republic. Amadou Ahijo was a, another despot that ruled for, 50, for 25 years. And now we have this current despot dictator that is for 36 years. We have to come together and ask ourselves, is that what we fetch for our brothers and sisters? Is that what we fetch for ourselves? We all have a brilliant education, career. But we all came to this wonderful nation, whether if you're in Europe, whether if you're in Asia, wherever you are. And we realize that the same brain of people that utilize it for the judicious and build this nation that we all scramble is equally like you and I. We know what they did. And we all learn all they did to become what they are today. And yet, we find our brothers and sisters being enslaved by a neighboring country like the Republic of Cameroon for the personal and egoistic interest of a French, France, for their own self gratifications. But I am here to remind our fellow brothers and sisters that we will no longer tolerate any of those. And we remind the Republic that this forceful wedding, which never took place, has all been dissolved. And that we will no longer succumb to the Republic. We ask the Republic to immediately and unconditionally move out of Southern Cameroon territory. We have our fellow brothers and sisters that are languishing in the Republic jail while we speak. And they are undergoing suffering by foreign nations that is 
not has nothing to do with the people of Southern Cameroon. But I am here to remind fellow brothers and sisters that tomorrow, in the next 20, 36 hours or 24 hours or more, La Republic will bring a singing song in what became known as the 1972 of enslavement of the people of Southern Cameroon, the so-called 20th May celebration. What are we celebrating? Celebrating the nightmare. And so we are here to remind the people of Southern Cameroon that 20th May is absolutely void, no and void in the Southern Cameroon territory. We also want to remind the world community that we, the people of Southern Cameroon, have come to a conclusion that the 20th May was a forceful marriages that there was never a marriage certificate that was superimposed upon the people of Southern Cameroon, in which it never existed. And that we have come to realize this, and we are letting the world to understand that the sons and daughters have risen and asked La Republic immediately and unconditionally leave the Southern Cameroon territory. There are some within us, what we call the enablers, and we have them, they claim to be appointed prime minister. They are crisscrossing in the Southern Cameroon territory. Those are the people that have been brainwashed and decided to choose the wrong course of action. But we are here to remind them that the people of Southern Cameroon has moved forward with their sovereignty and dignified people. And so therefore, we are remind those who choose, those I call the enablers, and that they want to attempt to join La Republic and that they're going to celebrate a 20th May. They're going to meet a strongly manifestation of the people of Southern Cameroon. I urge the people of Amazonia Defense Force to be fully aware, to be fully ready to take in whoever attempt to undermine the integrity and the sovereignty of the people of Southern Cameroon. So if you, tomorrow, 20, tomorrow the 20th, is absolutely zero more, is absolutely peer more. In other words, nobody is going to circulate except the Ambazonian Defense Force. And so if you believe that you are stronger, and that you can bypass and you attempt to violate any of these ordinance of the people of Southern Cameroon, then you're going to meet an unfriendly manifestation of the Amber Defense Force. We have asked that you stay at your home and rest there calmly after the 24 hours is gone. But if you attempt that you want to attempt, I know those in Limbe, especially those in Victoria, those in Victoria, they have been a key appetite because they are being, we have an influx of Francophones that have come to Victoria to violate our law. If you want to reside in Victoria, then you must respect the tune and the laws of the Southern Cameroon. But if you want to be an perpetrator and that you're going to violate, then you're going to meet an unfriendly manifestations. You can choose to stay in Southern Cameroon. We welcome you. But if you want to become those the architects that are going to violate the rules that govern the people of Southern Cameroon, then you're going to meet an unfriendly manifestations. We welcome visitors. We welcome all people that come to. But you must abide by the rules that govern the people of Southern Cameroon. So if those in Victoria that they are going to attempt to violate those laws of Southern Cameroon, then they're going to meet an unfriendly manifestations. Take this and be reminded. Fellow brothers and sisters, I am here speaking here from the great state of Texas, and I'm also speaking to remind the United States Department of Defense. I am also want to remind the U.S. Congress, and I want to take a sincere thanks to the U.S. Congress for continued look into this amicable problem that pepper, 
uh, uh, perplex the people of South Cameroon. I also want to thank the U.S. Department of Defense, the U.S. Congress, the White House, and the State Department. And the Under Secretary for African Affairs, the U.S. Ambassador to the neighboring country, La Republic of Cameroon, Peter, and the United Nations, the British government, the French government, that the people of Southern Cameroon has moved forward with their sovereignty. And so therefore, we are asking the rest of the world community to respect our sovereignty. And we also ask the OAU, the rest of African nations, that our people is now a, dis a sovereign nation, and we ask them to respect the dignity and the sovereignty of the people of Southern Cameroon. And here again, I want again to congratulate our AMBA defense system, those in, Go in Donga Mantum, those in Bui, those in Boyo, those in Mezam, those in Gokitunja, those in Manu, Le Bialem, Kupe, uh, Ndian, Fako, Meme, that we stand together in one spirit, one voice. There may be some within our midst that may misled, but that doesn't change the cause and the victory of our people seeking for a common, def common defense system and sustainable economic for the prosperity of all Southern Cameroon. I want to take a moment to thank all of you that we stand together and we will be stronger. Southern Cameroon, Federal Republic of Ambazonia will never be defeated. Victory lies ahead. God bless the people of Ambazonia. God bless the United States of the United States. And God bless those who stand with the people of Ambazonia. I wish you all a happy stay and be safe. And that we ask La Republic to respect the sovereignty of the people of Southern Cameroon. Thank you. And wish you all a good night.